Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. My name's Shaquita, Beauty with Kui here on Kui TV, where over here on my channel we do beauty, fashion, and lifestyle content. On today's video, we will be playing with the Juvia's Place, The Mobs by Juvia's Palette. And if you're interested in seeing how I accomplish this eye look using this palette, then stay tuned. <laughs> Starting off, I am going ahead and mattifying my eyebrows using the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Primer. And then I'm setting it with powder um, because I don't like a shiny, oily brow. And then next, I'm going back to my old Faithful The Wet n Wild Color Icon Coal Eyeliner in Simmer Brown now. And I'm just creating the shape that I want. And then filling it in, drawing a line at the bottom and the top of the brow, then filling it in, not touching the front part of my brow. I'm just going to blend that out with my finger. And then afterwards, um, I'm just going to use my concealer, my e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. And I am just going to clean up my brows. And yeah, that was my daughter. <laughs> so just take your time. Make sure that you're just creating that shape that you want. And I'm using the same shape at the top of my brow also. So as you guys know, I flip-flop between doing my eyebrows first and doing them last. Here lately, I've been doing them last again. And I've been loving it. You know me. I always do it the way I feel at that moment. Now for my eyelid eyeshadow base, I am using the Benai Clown White. Um, it's not really a eyeshadow primer, but I use it as such because I like how... It's not really sticky, but it's still spreadable, and the shadows really adhere to it, and it's white, meaning that it'll show up on my lid. And this is that just the Mauve's palette by Juvia's, and I'm using the, I believe it's the Warrior 2 palette. Is it? Yeah, the Warrior 2 palette. And I'm using the shade You Did Under the Brow Peruge, and going in with that lighter pink shade in the Mauve's palette which was that shade there, and then next, that shade. <laughs> and I'm just applying that directly into the crease just to create some depth in my eyeshadow look. So I'm bringing you just in a little closer. You always wanna make sure that you go back with your previous shades when blending your eyeshadow because you don't want them to you don't want to see each shade. You want them to like blend into each other. And now I'm using the Clown White again to create a cut crease. And this is just going to allow whatever shade you put on the actual lid to stand out alone. So that's what we're doing there. And you just kind of like want to press and kind of like pull at the same time. And I'm going to grab that mauve shade again, that purple mauve shade. And I'm going to put it on the outer V. Off camera, I did take that darker purple as well as a black to blend out my eyeliner. And then I'm taking that pink and blending it in just to create a nice transition of colors. And as you can see now, I'm taking a darker shade. And then off camera, I just took the black to blend out that liquid eyeliner again. Then I'm going to take that lighter shimmer shade and put it in on the inner part of my eye. Blend it in with the pink. So afterwards, I'm just using like a felt tip eyeliner by Wet n Wild. I'll put the name of it in the description box below. And just lining my eyes. I don't necessarily want a wing, just, you know, something that will blend my lashes in so you won't see that lash band. And then off camera, I did my face makeup. I do it a bajillion times on my videos. So I cut that part out, made it specifically for the eyes and lips. And right now I'm using the Wet n Wild Multi-Color, Multi-Stick. And I'm just lining it using like the pink shade. And then they also have a lavender shade. And then the shades that I put on my eyes, I'm basically putting them under the eyeliner. 
you want to put the eyeliner in your waterline and then right up under that take a flat top pencil and just blend in those shadows as such and then using a little inner corner highlight I'm just taking that white shade out of the warrior 2 palette and I believe the shade is called Zazz and just put in that in the inner corner to open up my eyes a little bit give you that bright eye effects and of course you gotta check yourself out sis make sure you look good and I was pleased girl <laughs> and afterwards I am just using my mascara by Maybelline and right here I'm just basically creating kind of like a little line or dot to make my lower eyelashes look thicker so that's just a little little boo I forgot who I got it from but I got it from somebody girl somebody and next I'm lining my lips with the Juvia's Lux liner in the shade cola and then after I apply that I'm going to use the wet and wild color icon eyeliner pencil and this is baby got black and I'm putting that on the very outer edge of my lips I've been liking this look a whole lot better especially when I do a nude specifically when I use a nude and then I'm using that cola liner again to just blend out that black so it won't be just black and don't be afraid to get like a pencil brush to blend those two eyeliners together like I'm doing just take your time and blend it both together like you would do your shadows so that you won't see a definitive line between one color and the next you want it to have a gradual transition into the next color and everything that you do pertaining to makeup sits blend 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 then next I'm using the caramel rose lip gloss from Juvia's place my all-time favorite right now very brown girl friendly and as you can see even though I use that black liner it still came together beautifully okay you guys so this is all for today's video I hope you guys really enjoy this nice little mauve nude sensation or is it mauve well it's just mobs by Juvia I will say that with this palette it was kind of difficult blending in these two shades with each other which with lighter tones I'm normally used to dealing with that um, where the lighter the darker color is hard to blend in with the lighter color and since I know that now for the future I'll start off with the darkest color first and then the lighter version after of course Juvia's shimmer shades are absolutely the bomb I have no complaints with that but the palette really is the bomb. I think next video I'm going to try out the taupes. So make sure that you are subscribed and click the notification bell for that video. And I don't really too much have any negative things to say. I mean, it's Juvia's Place. They always A1 with everything that they do. So if you enjoyed this video like I did, please make sure you thumbs up. And subscribe if you haven't already. Click the bell to be notified each and every time I upload a video. And until then, I will see you on the next video. Bye. Mwah.